Hello and welcome back to Conarium. And uh, let's do another quick round. Round. And if we can go down this way now, are there any stairs around? I don't think so. Just quickly checking whether we can interact with. Oh! Looks like something's missing here. And didn't we pick up some lever or something? These ivy-like plants are blocking the way. Hmm. Okay. And we have... You literally picked up a... That we literally picked up a axe, an axe. Can't go any further down this. This way is more certainly blocked. Because right now we'll be at the base level and we can go to the tower, so let's do that. Ground-level structures have been crumbled and rounded from untold eons of savage storms, and thus weathered into shapeless ruins. However, both the ground level and the cavern systems below are clearly displayed in these bas reliefs. The most striking features depicted in this grand panorama, I believe, are the tall, occasional towering spires, which somehow resemble a lighthouse. They all seem like focusing a light beam towards a colossal structure in the center. Hmm. Could there be some sort of religious meaning behind this? Or simply something that has a more practical use? I'm not sure. But I am sure. Interference. Unfortunately, I couldn't understand the point of the relayed message. I'll better be uh, on the lookout for any possible incoming transmissions. Also, I can be certain that there is a good chance of finding someone in the lower sections of the base. Frank, I don't know if you can hear me, but you must. I'm trying to keep searching. It's the only way. Dr. first remarks about the bus reliefs in the tower like structure. Just transcript. Oh, 
so this is the strong light that can be seen from ground level. understand why maybe because of loading levels but each time I have to oh, one more I have to torch Remember, if you see weird app like things in a room filled with fog, turn around and run. Seems weak. Not big enough for an axe, I assume. Mistaken. This relief depicts that the overgrown flower we came across 
at the various points in the cavern uh, can be cleared away with an iridescent device, a tool or a talisman. Curiously, we still haven't been able to find the roots of those plants. They seem to seep out of these caverns by passing through crevices which look as if intentionally made for them. <laughs> what other secrets might these silent halls conceal from us? All of them. What insane discoveries we've made in a short period of time. Even Professor William Dyer's shocking revelations were not enough to prepare us for this. For seeing is really believing. But those discoveries have also caused an uproar amongst the crew members, whose assumptions indicate that the fate of this expedition will end in ruin. Some serious mental disorders are the prime focus right now. As a temporary solution, we have prohibited this area to the rest of the members, for it seems most of us are not ready to comprehend such a thing. After surveying the flooded holes ahead with our basic di diving equipment, it was concluded that it would be better to divide the exploration team into two or more to carry out the exploration more effectively. According to the latest plan, we will send one or two teams with submarines to see if a route exists uh, for us to continue into the depths of the submerged tunnels, and the rest will explore it on land. Dr. Morgan C. Blake Continue exploration through this gateway. Other expedition parties can commence when ready. How did you go? Okay, I it probably wasn't always in this state. But that just doesn't explain. How long we've been unconscious? Never trust a symbol of old gods. Looks like something's missing here. Probably another, another crank. Symbols. I don't want to do anything with them just yet. Wouldn't want to summon something by accident. That will probably do anyway. Present a destination towards somewhere significant. Okay, let me. Okay. 
okay, you've copied those glyphs. Great. I've seen a vision near the rock tablet in a place that looked somewhat like an ancient burial ground. There was a diagram consisting of several glyphs carved on the rock's polished surface, and one glyph in particular was mentioned by the silhouette that appeared in the vision. I've copied down the diagram and marked with glyphs. Thank you. Something is gonna jump on us. And I'm not quite sure how much of what you simulate in this game. Oops. Frank! Can you hear me? Oh, thank God! Yes, I can hear you! of the mixture starts to wear off. Frank, heed me carefully. Time is running out, so I must be brief. Where exactly are you? Dr. Faust, is that you? I'm inside the caves below the base. Where are you? Listen, I cannot talk much. I know that you are having trouble remembering, but you must keep 
Of the gigantic statue I saw before. It is beautifully carved out of metal I can't identify. Additionally, it looks like it was made true to the many details of the bigger one. Hmm. And as expected, it is a little trophy. Yeah, that's the thing we saw earlier. It is possible to assume that, due to volcanic activities in the Earth's crust, the climate here is humid and temperate, but we don't know exactly whether this is the case. That theory somehow explains the nature of those small scattered fragments of obsidian along with that cryptic stone wall that welcomes you when entering via the round gate. As men of science, we cannot fully grasp most of the phenomena happening around us. No apparent sign has been left behind indicating the true motives of the carvers of this inconceivably coverings. I, all I am sure of is that this place holds something strange. Grasping the soil here firmly in both hands gives me a rudimentary sensation I cannot translate into words. Something I'm sure no other mortal man has hither, hitherto perceived. Were those maze-like tunnels flooded at some point in time or were they carved underwater? This was the main topic of debate at the last night's meeting. And what Dr. Faust hinted at on various occasions, cited from a dark leather-bound book, was too frightening. At least for the ones who could understand the underlying links. The me megalithic statues ornate standing stones in the flat areas of pushed rock we could see at some points made us think that this place could be a religious temple complex of some sort. We cannot imagine what it looked like in its former days, but now it lies in ruins, bare and without any sign of underwater fauna or fla fla flora or fauna. We've finished waking the submarines one last time, and again they are ready enough for the next Arsenton voyage ahead. This time we will also mark the way with light sources to make it easier for the later expeditions. In a short while, all members of the primary underwater exploration party led by Dr. James Barlow will head for the next destination, which appears to be towards the mythical entrance to the legendary netherworld. But again, I wonder whether we are looking for something that is not to be found. After all, I've experienced, read and studied here, after all those sleepless nights spent discussing the laws of nature and how to bend them, what lies beyond and how to reach a certain state to see more without eyes. Even I cannot help but think this journey may easily lead straight to hell, so we have to go through it all in search of answers. Dr. Morgan C. Blake. You really refuse to upgrade our torch. I'm amazed. Let's go. I'm fairly sure we explored all we could here. 